The year is 2012. Barack Obama has just been re-elected to serve a second term. The spacecraft Curiosity landed on Mars. Facebook announced that it had 1 billion active users. Smoking these meats here. The mind ran out of paper for their calendar. And the internet was about to be blessed with the greatest meme of all time. But before we get there, we have to go back. All the way back to August 21st, 1962, in the small town of Florissant, Missouri. Florissant. Is it actually small? I don't know. I didn't do a lot of research. But the one thing to remember is that a small human being with the name of Pete Weber was born on this day. Fast forward a couple more years and Pete is a normal child. He has good grades, likes to play outside. But most importantly, this kid could fucking bull. Nice you see, his father, Dick Weber, was known as somewhat of a legend in the making, and by the time little Petey was old enough to roll a ball without the assistance of bumpers, his dad was on national television rolling strikes and racking in the big bucks, taking any title he could get his fingers on. It may not be as popular now, but at the time, I assure you, bowling was at the forefront of the American television entertainment industry. And Dick Weber, well, he was the world's first bowling superstar. With the assistance of his father, Pete started to make a name for himself, joining local leagues and winning tournaments before his balls had even dropped. Soon enough, a 17-year-old Pete Weber was joining the PBA. From there, Pete won Rookie of the Year, and several years later, at the age of 24, he had already amounted to 10 PBA titles, making him the youngest to do so. While Pete's father was known for being calm, cool, and collected on the floor, Pete was quite the opposite. He may have had his father's swing, but Pete started a new era of professional bowling, one filled with showboating, talking smack, and lots and lots of cocaine. Wow. It's believed that Pete went through about $150,000 of cocaine, alcohol, and gambling. Pete was at the top of his game and no one could stop him. We happy? Yeah, we happy. The league even tried to kick him out at one point, but the viewership of professional bowling was taking a dive and it started to reach its lowest point. Pete was the committee's only hope of keeping them afloat. His showboat antics drawed in crowds and created a spectacle of bowling that the likes of Dick Weber would never have imagined. Which now brings us to the day of the meme. It's 2012, the PBA Championship, or something like that. I didn't do a lot of research. Pete Weber is going up against his rival, Mike Fagan. It's a close match. The score going back and forth. Eventually the game comes down to the very last frame. In order for Pete to win, he has to get a perfect strike. And what does he do? Well, the rest is history. Strike to claim it. A strike to claim it. And he got it! 